Hi everyone, this is Eugene Lichaud, and today I'd like to show you a little bit about the Studio Clouds plugin for 3D Studio Max. In a previous video, I gave a demonstration on the Studio Clouds standalone application. And for those of you who haven't seen that or are familiar with Studio Clouds, the way the uh, setup works is you take all your scans and you import them into the standalone application. And from there, you can do some editing and, and do some different things with it there. And once you're done, you can save it in the Alice Labs native format, which is a ALP file. And once you've done that, then you're ready to import into 3D Studio Max. And in 3D Studio Max, you can also do a few things as far as uh, measuring and, and that sort of thing. Well, in 3D Studio Max, you can do some different things with manipulating the point clouds and um, using it for modeling. So I'm using the 64-bit version of 3D Studio Max, and I have the 64-bit version of the plugin. And if you look across the top here, you'll see that there's a Studio Clouds menu option that allows you to load the menu. And it'll just take a second for that to come up. And I'm going to load in a project. This is going to be the same point cloud that I was using in the previous um, little video. And this is of a petrol plant. It's about 120 something million points. However, at the moment, I'm only displaying about 3 million points on the screen. So just to show you a couple of things that you can do, you can set the units. Uh, we have an outliner just like we have in the standalone application. It shows you all the different scans that were done and we can turn them on or off if we want to. We also have a choice of how we want to display the point cloud with gradients and RGB, that sort of thing. And there's also some tools and I think I'll show you some of these here. Now, with the tools, there's a spline tool so you can use it to draw directly on the cloud. So you can just click some points um, and then you've created a, a spline through those particular points. I'm not sure if you can see that properly. I'll change the color to help with that. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit better. We can also do the same thing. There's a uh, polygon tool here. So we can just start clicking on points and create a, you know, n-sided polygon. So there we go that up so you can see that as well and there's also an option here to create a grid and also uh, some helpers so if you're using um, uh, helpers for measuring or for to help you with modeling that you can place those down on the point cloud as well now there's also something called the clip box which is similar to the standalone application where you can basically decide to clip off uh, portions of this scan if you feel they're not important you just want to focus in on a general area so it works very similar there there's also something called a grid uh, which is similar to the clip box except that it's a, a plane that has a plus or minus range or thickness and you can use that to uh, clip the cloud as well the other options we have down here are for rendering and in the render menu here we've got the uh, triangles quads or cubes uh, options for rendering and we also have the sizes of those um, objects if we want them to show up as larger or smaller. Um, we have also the render points so right now I've got it set to about 30 million points. I'm going to turn that down a little bit so that it'll render a little bit faster and we also have our uh, uh, camera plane so for clipping. Now I've got mental ray set up so that I can render directly here and I'm just going to hit the uh, hit the render button and you can watch to see what happens. And this might take a, a minute, but um, I'll just keep talking here to see how long it's actually gonna take. It's usually the initial setup uh, that takes a little while, but it's coming along here. So you can see it's just starting. Of course, the real benefit is that you can render and use lights and effects inside of 3D Studio Max directly. Keep that in mind, and thanks for listening. Bye-bye.